What's up guys? Scott Martin here, Scott Martin Challenge. Hey, we've got a challenge today. Number one challenge is to avoid Hurricane Matthew. Number two challenge is to beat John Cox. This guy knows how to fish. I've taken him down a few times, but he's got a little chip on his shoulder and he's fresh off a Forest Wood Cup victory. Angler of the year, Scott Martin. Oh my God. Well, I'll tell you what, man, I'm not sure how long we'll be able to fish today, dude, with this storm coming in. I mean, it could be, uh, we might get lucky, and right now it looks great, but, dude, it could get awful in a dude, little bit. this is crazy. Yeah. I mean, my old lady's like flipping out, you know, that I'm coming down here yeah. fishing with you, and I said, babe, listen, they're going to be buying. Yeah. So I get this call, and it's Scott Martin, and he, wa and he wants to do a challenge. So I'm, I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. I'm like, Scott, when are we going? And he says, tomorrow, <laughs> right as this hurricane's coming. So, you know. I, I think, man, he's got he's got to be joking. You know, there's no way we're gonna fish as this, you know, class four hurricane is coming straight for Florida, and uh, you know, he was serious. It's hard to squeeze in some of these SMCs, and having a chance to fish with John today, we just got to do it. I mean, there's a hurricane approaching the state of Florida. That's all we're hearing on the news. You know, people are boarding their houses up over on the coast. I'm not real sure if we're gonna be able to pull this show off or not. It's going to all depend on how close this hurricane actually gets to the state of Florida, but we're going to deal with some weather for sure today. All right, John, I'll tell you what, it's going to be an exciting day to fish with you, man. We've, we've, we've been competitors for all these years, good yep. friends, man. It's going to be uh, fun here on Lake Okeechobee. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this day for a while. I'm, I'm a little nervous, a little more than any of these tournaments we've been at and everything, so, you know, I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Well, I tell you, this lake, you know, the water's up right now, you know, we've got this storm coming in. I'm not sure exactly how much time we're gonna to have to fish today. There's gonna to be some rain. I think we can get back into some of these backwater canals and some backwater marshes back here with this water up and catch them. And we might even be able to slide out here in front here and catch them as well. But uh, it's gonna be a good day, man. Yeah. Good luck, I'm dude. I'm excited. Free fish limit. <laughs> we're gonna see who's gonna win this. See puppy. what happens. All right, let's get after it. So I know Scott because I watched him on TV for all these years. And when I started fishing the tour, you know, I became friends with him. And you know, we've had such close calls in, in some of the other tournaments where I, you know, so close to winning and you know, and Scott takes the, you know, you know, ends up winning and I have to admit, uh, over the years I've been a little bit of a, a thorn in his side as, as he likes to say. You know, we've we've had a lot of close calls, a lot of tournaments where we've we've been right down to the last little bit and somehow I've just kind of edged my way in there at the last minute and kind of taking some of this thunder. So, John, I hope, I'm not doing it on purpose, really, towards you. I just, I just want to win, my friend. I just want to win. You know, it's just, uh, you know, this is the time where I'm going to get back and, and take them down. Nobody's been in here since probably three years ago. Right. When the water was up. Well, yeah, because I've never even, I, and this was always solid. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, it was all these little cornfields and all these little backwater marshes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can just get lost back in here. Right? Mm -hmm. I like taking my airboat. You know, like in this time of year, I'll take my airboat and crash around and find these little pockets. And you just take your aluminum boat and crash right behind me. <laughs> oh, you got, got it. it. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. Like a five I saw him, dude. He, oh bit, my he bit my legs off. <laughs> Whoa, that was oh, a good that was a giant one. Oh. I think I can reach it. Let's see. Oh, got him. Got him. You got one big one? Oh, dude, that I don't think it's a big one. I think it. No, not uh, big. Just in the grass. I can't tell. I don't even know he's on there. <laughs> he's just coming right at us. Oh, that's, well, that's a, nice a decent one, man. one. Heck yeah. <sighs> Dang, I gotta get one. I gotta get one out of here. There's like 30 of them in this hole. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one there. Nice Good fat job. one. Good job, sorta. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have you taken yeah. down, my friend. <laughs> I lost sleep last night. <laughs> if this storm will stay off of us, yeah. we can wreck them, dude. <laughs> We're fishing this show, guys, right at the eve of Hurricane Matthew. You've watched it on the news, and Hurricane Matthew is about to hit us tomorrow. So we're trying to squeeze this show in before the lake gets totally wrecked for a few days. But I think that's some outer band, so. Most people go, like, surfing. Like, the surfer guys love to surf right before a hurricane. Bass fishing guys, we love to bass fish right before the hurricane. Not during the hurricane, but right before it. It's real open. Oh, dang it! <laughs> Cox is putting a hurting on me. <laughs> it's 
Baymax! <laughs> I got time. Oh man, look how fat they are. Jeez. They've been eating. Yeah. yeah, see these fish, all how dark they are, they've been living back in this marsh. But a lot of, a lot of these guys, you can't get back in here when the water's low. The water's up a little bit right now. If you can get back in, these fish are dark like that because they've been living back here. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook, Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time, and by the Evinrood E-Tech G2, now available from 150 to 300 HP. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Costa Del Mar, see what's out there, Okuma Fishing Tackle. There's no stopping Okuma. And by Garmin Panoptics All-Seeing Sonar. Join the pros who switch to Garmin. So what we, what we got here, guys, you know, out, out here on Okeechobee, you've got these massive flats of hydrilla, hyacinths, and all this stuff. But there's little open ponds. And I mean, you, you can look out through here, and there's open little lakes all through, peppered all through here. And what it happens is, is that hydrilla's not growing in there, so that's good and open. And when you have wind blowing through here like this, there's a lot of current rolling through this little trough right here. And so these fish, you know, schools of fish will get in these certain little troughs. So if you can find a trough that has some wind blowing through it along these mats, those are the ones you really can catch a lot of fish on versus one that's maybe this way against the wind, narrow this way, wouldn't be as good as the long one this way because these fish can get all through here. And that's what they're doing. They've got a whole big bunch of shad all pushed up in this little pocket right here. And there's gonna be several more little places like this, I'm sure. Anytime there's low pressure, a big storm approaching, the bass usually bite really good. So I'm actually excited about what we could potentially catch today. We could really catch some big fish and the action could be unbelievable. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got That's a good him. one. That's a good one. I'm getting wrecked. My John Cox is wrecking me. Uh oh, we got a little line stretch. Oh, oh nice one. Nice one. That's going to get rid of your small one for sure. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Gonna I start gotta, calling. I gotta let my guests catch a few right off the bat, right? <laughs> I'm jacking them up on this swim jig, and you know I'm starting to get a lead on Scott, and I'm pretty, uh, I'm feeling really confident. You know, I feel like I'm really getting under his skin. <laughs> Dang. Good for TV, bad for the, for the W for me. You know, those fish came up busting right before this storm hit and they were knocking shad out of the water, which I, I didn't expect to see. I kind of thought this was mostly a bluegill deal in here. But I'm gonna turn that hydrowave on and get it cranked up and see if it, it'll get these bait fish out of this, out of this hydrilla and get them feeding again, get those bass, get those bass chomping. And they have all these different settings in the scene. They're really cool, man. I've caught a lot of extra fish, bonus fish with this thing. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go, Let's go bait, let's go delayed schooling. And we'll play it right there, we'll turn it up about halfway. See what happens. I already saw one going right over there. Really? Right at them, right them reeds. Oh, turn now it. they're right in front of the bow. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. Did we just turn it on and they start blowing up around the boat? They're unbelievable. That's crazy. It was instant, like as soon as you hit the button, <laughs> they started blowing up over here. I think he, yeah, he left it. Oh no, he's got it! Gosh! Oh, oh another one grabbed it! <laughs> John fires up there. He's got a nice fish on, and he's fighting it to the boat. And I see something behind this fish, and I take my, I take that live target bluegill, and I just do like a little half cast right at the boat, and this explosion happens. <laughs> oh, there were two of them behind. Oh, him. oh look at him! He just oh, tried to oh, grab it out oh, of his oh, mouth. Oh. oh my gosh! Oh, oh, we got it! Got it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh, dude! It's a giant. Oh, it's a giant one! Oh, 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 oh. that is crazy! That is crazy! Oh, I get an assist oh, on that one, my oh, friend. Oh man! <laughs> gosh, he choked that thing. <laughs> How'd that well, work out? I beat you on that catch. I know it. Gosh. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Took the lead with that one. That way. is what you get out of bed for, guys, right there. That was cool. Yeah, did you check that out? <laughs> <laughs> that is a donkey. Chubby donkey. <laughs> I don't think you need to put yours in. No, I think you can get rid I of yours. Mine's going to Mine's it. going in on the big side. It's a beautiful fish, man. That was awesome. 
team tournament guys, pay attention to that little deal. You get a guy that's got a fish on, a fish behind it, reel your bait in quick, and you can catch them sometimes like that. That was ridiculous, man. <laughs> that, was, that, that thing went awesome. boosh out of the water. That was awesome. Man. Closed captioning for the Scott Martin Challenge is provided by Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. From high-performance coolers to insulated tumblers, Angle has what you need to keep your next challenge seriously cool. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by P-Line, delivering the leading edge of quality high-performance fishing line. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Well, mine's non-stop vibrating, dude. You know what it says? It says <laughs> hurricane warning in this area. <laughs> Yeah, Check local <laughs> authorities. Uh-oh, we need to, uh-oh. It's <laughs> blowing up. <laughs> and we're fishing. Honey, <laughs> put, put, can you put the boards on the windows, please? We're fishing, come on. That's awful. Oh my gosh, dude, this might be the worst idea ever. <laughs> if we survive, you'll get to see some pretty interesting footage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're not right. Nope. In all honesty, guys, you see us out here fishing literally right before a hurricane. Don't try this at home. This, this, was, this was kind of a bad idea. We got it. Oh, there he is right at the boat. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Holy God. Oh, oh, yeah, that oh, one was cold. cold. All right. Dude, I was back there getting something. <laughs> that doesn't even count. My turn on the front. My turn on the front. <laughs> oh, a oh there they go. They're there. going crazy. You know, I'm getting a little nervous. You know, I, it, John's gonna jack a big one, and, I, and I'm worried because if he steals, if he if he beats me, and he steals my thunder today, and we've got next season coming up. He's he, he might take my like my kryptonite. He might take my little power that I have, and he he's gonna run with it, and he's gonna win Angler of the Year, win another Portswood Cup, and win every single tournament. So I can't let you win, my friend. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, she got it. Oh. Got her, got her. Oh, Big no. one. I can't keep up to her. Oh, we got it. Oh, it's a nice one, dude. Oh. I'm all around the boat. See if I can get another one. There's got to be one. Look, there's one right here. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, nice one, dude. Oh. Nice. One. That's gonna, that's gonna get us close to. A little, yeah, I, mean, I might have you on the big fish so far yeah, still. Yeah, you got me on the big one so far. <laughs> that's all that matters is I win. That's it. So we're going down this edge and, and we're in between uh, bands of the storm. So it's nice and calm, it's, you know, there's not really much rain, it's just cloudy. And all of a sudden, Scott starts, I hear this huge explosion and Scott starts freaking out. Oh my God. A giant oh. one. Ooh. Oh, there he is, yeah. there he is. Dude, it's a giant, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, God, he hooked oh my arm. God, he's on your arm? Yeah. You all right? I got him. Yes! <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is that, oh, it's just in your oh, shirt. Oh yeah, we're good. Thank you. Oh, dude, that was awesome. That thing went cool boosh. Dude, I have to admit, that was painful. That is a monster right there. I thought one. it was like a 10 pounder. I thought it was When too. it hit, I thought it was an absolute gigantic. It's a big one, but I was way bigger than that. That helps the cause, my friend. You getting a little nervous now? Yeah, I see a little, see a little sweat. That was an awesome bite. I tell you, we, we've had we've had some really interesting bites today with this weather the way it is. It, the, these fish are just kind of missing the bait. We've had three or four more that size blow up and just miss it. it might be onto something now. You've seen me catch a lot of fish over the years on the Trocar hooks. And for your widest selection anywhere, be sure to stop in your local Bass Pro Shops where they'll have all your bases covered, like the TK-130 flipping Hook, one of my favorite ones, or visit them online at BassPro.com. Well, my brand new Ranger Bass Boat is finally here. You know, my Ranger Z520 is paired up with the brand new, ever new 250 HOG2, and I'll tell you what, I love this combination. There's so many reasons why I run Ranger um, and ever new combination. Number one, I've been with them my entire career. Number two, they're built right. They're built with quality. They're built with passion. They're dependable. I make my living in this machine right here, and it's an unbelievable package. So I want to show you some of the really key features that I really love about Ranger. Before we jump over the boat and show you all the cool things inside, let's talk about what pushes this puppy. The Evernude 250 HOG2 is an unbelievable motor. Here's why. It's full of torque. It's fast as all get out. This thing is super dependable. 
and it's unbelievable on fuel. Check out the front of this boat, guys. I mean, look how much room I have up here. And what I love about it is plenty of room to put all my rods and reels and have another person up here on the front deck fishing with you. It's not a real narrow platform. It's a real wide platform. So they've really thought it out well. You know, you have your rod locker here. You also have storage and then your center rod locker. And what I love about this area here, recessed foot pedal, you have places for your tools. Of course, you can mount all your electronics like we have. This is a great, well thought out plan right here on the front of this boat. Ranger really thought this console out well. Here's what I love about it. Tons of room. I'm a pretty big guy. I've got tons of room under here so my knees aren't going to hit the dash. Then when we move up to the styling of this thing, check out this dash. I mean, fancy, right? Chrome bezels, waterproof switches, and an extra large console area to put oversized GPS or depth finders in. This console's made right. So guys, if you're in the market for a brand new bass boat, make sure to check out the Ranger Z520 package paired up with the new Evernude 250 HOG2. It's an unbelievable combination. And I'll tell you what, guys, dependability, power, torque, warranty, styling, resale value. Check out the Ranger Z520 package paired up with the brand new Evernude 250 HOG2. We'll see you guys. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Activity Click App. Enjoy your sports with others. Click and connect for free. Decked. In vehicle storage systems keep your tackle and gear dry, secure, and organized. And by Bob's Machine Shop. Go fast, go shallow, go efficient. Hey guys, are you hungry for more adventure? Join us on our YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook page. We'll take you behind the scenes. And for tips and techniques and more, please visit scottmartinchallenge.com. I can sit here and kid around about how I've maybe taken a little bit of, of John's thunder over the years, but he slapped me around pretty hard this year. Forest Wood Cup, dude, you're the champ, my friend. I made it to the finals as well, and he laid the hammer down on every single one of us. Took home the top prize, dude, so now you're world champion. John, I know we've had a lot of close uh, close battles over the years, man. Okeechobee, the angler of the year. You got me the cup. You got me the cup. Redemption. But we're back again. I, I might I might have the upper hand right now just by maybe one fish. Yeah, I need one big bite here, and we're running out of time. We're so we'll running see what out happens. of time. If I could take you down here, this would be the little one-on-one -on -one match everybody's been waiting to see. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm not counting you out, dude, because somehow you always come through in the last little bit. You know, me and Scott have been friends for a long time. <laughs> and, you know, honestly, in these tournaments, he's been pretty much like a stick in the eye. You know, just almost like a nemesis. You know, he's just, every time I've been able to, you know, win this, you know, have this awesome accomplishment, Scott seems to just come out of nowhere and just take it from me. <laughs> you know, we're doing a little three fish limit today. And the potential with a three fish limit here on this lake is 20 pounds. Oh, yeah. You know, we're not close to that yet. But you, we could, we could get 20. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the kind of the goal, really. You know, right. 15 to 20 pounds. Oh, I got there her! Go. I got her! Nice one. That one to help. <laughs> oh heck yeah! <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> oh. Now we're, now we're within like one fish, of, <laughs> one fish apart now. This fish is gonna help and you know, it's getting pretty close. It's gonna be close, my friend, but at the end of the day, I had a great time fishing with you. Man. Oh man, I had an awesome time too. We'll fish up to the mouth of this cut, and we're gonna call it, what do you think? That sounds good, before this hurricane gets yeah, here. Yeah, we need to go start boarding up windows. And <laughs> yeah, cutting trees down. I gotta park down. the truck car battle wagon somewhere, <laughs> where it doesn't get blown away. <laughs> yeah. All right, John, officially is over, my friend. It was a lot of fun, dude. We had a lot of fish, a lot of opportunities at some big ones. But the challenge was the best three fish, my friend. So you pull yours yeah. out, let you go first. We'll dump them in here. Let's see who's going to be champion of the entire universe on Lake Okeechobee. That's a oh. nice one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Mm -hmm. Chunks, man. All right. Good deal. Three good fish. We did a three fish limit today instead of having five. We didn't want to carry around 10 fish in the live well all day. <laughs> Oh man. 1163. 1163. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's gonna be close. And I think he might have got me again. God. Alright, here you go, my friend. Hurricane Matthews hitting it's coming. at this moment. 
<laughs> number one, about like the one you caught. Number two. And then the tournament winner, my friend. The tournament winner right there. Woo! I think that one might get you. I think it might get you. You know, win, lose, or draw, hey, I'm fishing the Scott Martin Challenge against Scott, and it's something I've been wanting to do forever. And, uh, you know, being neck and neck with him up front, casting over each other's lines, I mean, it was just, it was a blast. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to get out there and do it again. 1580, dude. 1580. Woo! Oh, God. Oh, I love it, my friend. I love it. I tell you what. I tell you what. That was uh, an awesome day to fish with you. It was awesome. We have to do it again. You know, we, we missed a couple big ones out there. We had a legitimate shot at maybe an 18, 19, maybe even a 20 pound bag. Uh, I learned a lot fishing with you. I like your little technique on your swim jig. I'm going to be writing that down. So, But hopefully, you guys at home learned a few techniques as well. Watching John, watching us fish together. We caught a lot of fish, so stay tuned. Next week, we're going to be on a new lake with a new challenge. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge, guys. We'll see you. You know, John, we're going to do another SMC real soon, and I'm going to let you pick the lake this time. Uh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> do not be mad at me. <laughs> Woo, but I'm happy.